So let's now get to know you a little bit. So tell us about yourself. Um, where do you live and where did you grow up? And then bring yeah. us, uh, give, share with us some of your life experiences. Totally. So I actually live right now where I grew up. Uh, I spent a 20 year hiatus in two different locations since then. But I, I, I uh, was born and raised in, in Michigan, in Southeast Michigan. Uh, and I live in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where the University of Michigan is. And uh, I grew up here. Both my parents are professors. Um, you know, and, and being a professor is a lot like being an entrepreneur. Um, you have to have an idea. You have to convince people of this idea. You sometimes have to get money. You have to execute. You have to show your results. Um, a lot of times your schedule is kind of as you make it. And so growing up, I, I remember I would go to the sleep to the sound of my dad writing and typing, and I would wake up to the sound of him writing and typing. And he would have his students come to our house to like do, you know, to have meetings. I saw him travel all the time. So I think the idea of being able to manage your time to your goals uh, was very much visible to me uh, as a young child. And then What's different, though, because, you know, both my parents are psychologists and uh, my father was in the seminarian for 13 years. My mom was a nun. So they're very religious and, and they like giving to the community. And I like I definitely like giving to the community, but I'm a little bit more financial or, or economic driven uh, than I'd say the rest of my family. Um, and so, like, I remember as a four year old, we had these little quartz stones that were like all around the outside of our house for like drainage. So I would like, collect them, wash them, and then like walk to my neighbors and try to sell stones door to door. Um, or like, um, you know, I used to collect baseball cards and never, not because I liked the sport per se. Um, yes, I thought, you know, I thought certain players were amazing, right? Bo Jackson's amazing or whatever. But why I was collecting them was because I had a little booklet and the booklet would tell me how much each one was worth. And like, it was like a lottery almost. Like I felt like I was like, I would go in, get my pack, cut it open and then see like, okay, how much had I made? You know, and so, you know, that was just this, like... Where do you think that came from? I mean, wh why yeah. did you feel that you uh, you had to pay more attention to the economics of it? Yeah, I think I... So, I think I really like the idea of things growing on their own. And so, sometimes that's like... So, I'm an engineer by education. I'm a process engineer. I went to Michigan for industrial, uh, industrial and operations engineering. And very much process. Like, hey, I set up certain things... And then as long as we follow those things, this outcome will happen, this like good outcome. And so I felt the same with like these cards, like I'd buy a card and because of time or whatever, you know, it would grow in value. And I didn't have to do much to do that. I just had to hold on to it. And I, I guess I found that incredible. Um, also convincing people of things. I love doing that. Um, so you kind of combine like this idea of like, I like processes. I like the idea of things growing on their own if set up in the right way. Um, and then I also like engaging with people and seeing if I can convince them uh, of my idea. Um, I just find it a thrill, you know, and um, I don't know, I, I, maybe there's, you know, there's different components in that, you know, so. Well, so uh, interesting. So being able to convince people, what that's what your your, your father did, right? Because right. he, was, he was lecturing, Yes. He was teaching people, and and uh, so did, did you actually see your father in action, you know, lecturing? Yes, a lot. Um, I have sat on so many dissertation committees, not because I was a member, but because my dad needed, you know, he had, he had to take care of me, and he had to sit there, so he'd be like, hey, just sit on the corner, here's some paper, draw. So I'd listen to these people argue, you know, <laughs> their dissertations, you know, and so I saw him work that way. I would see my mom work a lot, because she was a uh, so I end, I ended up going to Michigan for uh, for college, and she was an associate dean there. So I would see her. We would catch lunch together, um, you know. And what was interesting is her and I we had different last names, um, and we don't. I don't think you would necessarily if you knew we we're related. Yeah, you could. Oh, I could see it. But if you're just two random people on the campus, I, I don't think you'd really think we were related. And so sometimes she would hear things about me, and you know, it was just it was an interesting dynamic. That's for sure. Um, you know, on on the campus. So. So you know, I, this is this is a fascinating thing for me to hear because here you are, you were a little kid sitting in a classroom, yeah. watching your father give lecture on psychology. Yes, and of course, you know, this is not like physics or chemistry where you're right. solving. Problems. This right. is all all uh, opinion. Yes, yes. So, 
And then, of course, with those opinions, he is convincing people to buy yeah. into the idea, uh, which will basically form the rest of their thinking. Yeah, you're right. And, and then you were observing this as a kid. Yes. yes. And uh, well, and, and that now, as a result, you now love convincing people. Right. And so you, you know, must be a great debater then. <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. I think ask my wife. She may, you know, she may have a different uh, opinion on that. Uh, I may be tenacious and maybe not let go of something. My sister, she's a lawyer uh, by education. She was a lawyer for practicing for 10 years. Then that wasn't enough. And she decided to get a PhD. So, you know, you can imagine, uh, you know, the academic and uh, rigor and arguments that happen in our family. I actually, I sent my sister a business plan because I was thinking of this business plan to address elder care. And uh, she sent me, she sends me back a text message. She's like, did you write this business plan? I said, yes, I did. And she's like, I'll give you 10 reasons why it's not going to work. 